Baby mama, this shot song been pregnant for way too long. Too long. I tell the DJ turn it off. Turn it off. If she a baby mama, she gon' do that baby mama. Work. She gon' put it on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. She gon' do that baby mama. Drop, 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 one month, two month, three month, four. Hit the baby mama when I'm stepping through the door. Yeah, I'm pregnant, but I got an ill flow. Trying to make some money, buy some huggies from a stove. S to the T A, double R K to the E I S A J. And I don't play, doing my way. Prego, but I'm still doing moves like Beyonce. Yeah, I said I'm pregnant, pregnant. Get the child support and pay my. What's up, Jazzy gang? I know I've been gone for like I want to say about two months now. I don't know. I haven't really had like the energy i know it sounds so stupid like you're just recording a video i haven't really had the energy to like edit and stuff like going through this pregnancy like it's been pretty bad in the beginning it's starting to ease up a little bit so we'll see i'm gonna try to i'm definitely gonna drop about like five to six videos within the next two weeks i want to say but i also want to say happy five months to baby rin you guys yes uh about three and a half more months to go i feel like this pregnancy went by super fast like i really do i feel like it went by super fast anyways about this hair that i put in my hair oh uh, you guys i am like in love with it already and i just barely finished like three minutes ago <laughs> but i'm like really really in love with this hair um crap I really hate when I watch videos and then I be wanting to know what kind of hair they put in their head. But I don't know what kind of hair I put in my head because I had my baby daddy take out the trash. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go get the pack of hair. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna open up the garage and go look at the trash for you guys. That's real love. <laughs> It just got thrown out last night, so it's cool. But um, this is the braiding hair that I used. Let me see. Ah, uh, does she kind of look like me? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Was that me? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I bought ten packs. I didn't use all ten packs, so. Let me tell you guys something as to why I cannot tell you guys how many packs I use. Okay, just get like seven packs to play it safe because I'm pretty sure I use about seven. There's about three packs left. I'm pretty positive. Now, the reason I don't know how many packs I used in total is because I thought that I was going to use all 10 packs. And I was watching a few videos like because I wanted to know why my scalp would be like, super super itchy and inflamed after like a couple hours because i know i have a sensitive scalp and i'm like all i use are natural products so i couldn't like get to the bottom of it and then i came across this doctor and she's like do you wear synthetic hair i'm like well no my wigs are human but you know most of the itching comes from when i try to wear braids like these She's like, did you know that those braids are covered in chemicals, dirt, filth, bugs, like a whole lot of stuff. She's like, research on YouTube. I'm a naturalista too. Go on YouTube, look at these videos and look up the apple cider vinegar rinse for the hair. So I decided to do that and I did it myself and I'm gonna insert some footage. It looked so disgusting, like it literally looked like slime and dirt. Like it like it did not belong in my hair or on my scalp or anywhere near my face. Second of all, when I do long braids, I put the hair in my mouth. So now I'm thinking back like I was putting that crap in my mouth. Ugh, like, yeah, I probably had a lot worse in my mouth, but I Okay, no, that was intentional. Ah. Stop listening to me. Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, 
So I did use the rubber band method. I also have a video on my channel doing these, but smaller. So Senegal leaves twists are the smaller ones. I have a video on my channel without using rubber bands. So if you don't want to use rubber bands, go check out that video. Um, I'll probably link it below. But for this style, sorry, there's an airplane going by. Okay, for this video, I use kink free and damage free rubber bands. Uh, and they're only a dollar. But I got them from my local beauty supply, so I don't know. Amazon is pretty legit, so I would check on Amazon if they have them, if they don't have them at your local beauty supply store. But I would get these. What I noticed with these is that when I was using one of them, I promise you, because at first I tried to like section my hair off and put them in these first before I crocheted it to the rubber band. But, um,. They started popping, like the older ones, like they literally, if they were too tight, which I actually love that, like, I don't think that's bad at all. If I did it too tight, not to my scalp, because I know better, but like if I wrapped it too tight around the braid, they would like slowly pop. And I really like that. But I did double it up. Like I did one, like, shh, 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 and then I put another one. But I got that video in here, so you guys will be able to see that, okay? not gonna leave you guys hanging i this is gonna be a tutorial i just want to explain some things to you guys first um i did band my hair and if you don't know what banding is it's just when you put your hair in like ponytails with these but like band it all the way down with multiple bands like these so i stretched my hair pretty much um i put in my favorite leave in which i don't have with me all good though, um, you guys never knew what leave-in I put in my hair before, so not really a problem. So put your favorite leave-in in, and then when I woke up in the morning, I put, um, so I used shea butter. And I got this on Amazon too, 100% natural. So I put that with shea butter as a sealant. I have low porosity hair, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. And I did also big chop my hair. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely take a look at that because I definitely have that on my channel. Um, anyways, what else should I mention before we get into this tutorial? I'm pretty sure this is the crochet needle. If you guys aren't aware, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you know what a crochet needle is. Ah, my hand's not that white. What the heck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> and I mean, I used the rat tail comb for the party in the front. The back, I didn't really care. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned for the tutorial. So um, I'm a mom. So if you guys hear some kids in the background, uh, yeah. So. If you don't want to hear no kids, I suggest watching a different video because you're going to hear some kids in my background. So anyways, so I'm going to start by parting the hair whichever way I personally prefer it. Um, the reason why the front part on the other side that's already done looks like an oval is because I decided to let someone French braid my hair. Um, not going straight back, but straight down. And she kind of braided my hair too tight. So it like pulled some of my hair out. My scalp is like really, really sensitive. It's horrible. Anyways, we'll talk about that in a different video. So yeah, but that's why that's parted that way. So anyways, part your hair whichever way you want to part it. I'm using the Shine and Jam Extra Hold um, I don't really think it's edge control. I'm not really sure. But I'm only using that because it says it has conditioning properties in it. So we're going to see how that works. I've never used that one before. I usually just use jam. But I heard good things about this one. So I'm trying it. And so far I really like it. But we'll see how it works out for me in a week or so. But we're going to use that. And remember those rubber bands I was telling you guys about? Um... That's me putting the first one in, and then you're about to watch me put in the second one. Okay, Jasmine, hurry up, put it in. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I had to add two because they were popping if I did them too tight. 
And I used three strands out of the whole pack and I'm going to show you how I stretched it to get it the length that it was. If you don't, if you want them thicker, thicker um, twists than what I have, I would recommend using an odd number. So I would just go up to five. Um, only because you want to have even amount of hair on both sides. That way the twists don't look ridiculous. But you'll see. So I'm going to put all three. I'm going to twist it in the middle so it can fit inside of the crochet needle. And then close it and then pull it straight through. It's pretty easy. You're going to create a loop. Well, the crochet needle already created it for you. Only pull one side through. Sorry, I told you guys you're going to hear some kids in the background. Um, so yeah, pull one side through. Make sure they're all even at the ends. You're going to see why. There's a method to my madness. You want to brush out the ends. Oh, wait. I got to add some jam to my ends. Sorry, it's not jam. It's shine and something. I forgot the name already, but I know I already said it. <laughs> Add it to the ends, that way it blends in better with the twist. What are you doing? <laughs> so brush out your ends. What are you doing? Titan, what are you doing? Um, I, I decided that the dog leaks a little bit. Oh, okay. And Enjoy. I'm playing with it now. I'm trying to figure out who to drag with it. Oh, okay. Let's not drag anybody with that. I beg Chase. Oh, okay. <laughs> so here's the part I was telling you guys about the stretching part. So you're going to pull one side. Mm, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can pretty much see it. Make sure there's, obviously, you have to have hair left on the other side to be able to braid it. And you're going to do the Whoa. same thing to the other side. Yes, baby? Oh. Split your hair in the middle with the hair that, like I told you, use an odd number so you can have an even, an even amount of hair on both sides. Can I have? Can I have? Can you have what? <laughs> and then you're going to twist it down. You can honestly, with the rubber band as your base, you can twist it however you want to. But if you want a more detailed tutorial on how to do an actual Senegalese twist, I have a more detailed video and I will list it down below. Havana twist is just a thicker version of a Senegalese twist. So it's pretty much the same thing. But everything else that you see me doing is pretty much self-explanatory. I want my twist messier so I make them tight at the, at the front or well, at the top. I make them tighter at the top because my real hair is right there. And then towards the middle, I braid it looser because I want the messy look. And then right at the very end, I start twisting it up tight again. Now, remember at the beginning when I told you guys how when I'm doing long braids, I have to put the ends in my mouth, which... Brings me back to why I'm so happy that I learned about the apple cider vinegar rinse. Because I'm sitting here like, what the heck? I had all that stuff in my mouth. But anyways, so yeah, when you get towards the end, I mean, if your arms are long enough, I'm 5'10". So my arms aren't long enough. So I'm pretty sure if you're shorter, you won't be able to do it. So yeah, you're going to have to put the hair in your mouth. So just do that. Braid it down. And then when I get close to the ends, I braid it tighter. Titan, you can't unlock a door with a penny, just so you know. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? You're really you're really a smart five-year-old because you actually can unlock her door with a penny if you think about it. Because mm -hmm. last Mommy, night, she, she locked her door and I loosened a penny to unlock it. And she right here, you're just seeing me look because um, I see one of the parts that I tried to brush out didn't actually brush out so it kind of stuck out so i was trying to like unravel the end to that one and then tuck it in the middle but that's all